Hi, this video is going to teach you how to do a math strategy called partial sums addition. And this video is actually for some third grade students at my school, but anybody who is interested in learning about this type of math can watch the video and learn from it. And at first, I taught my students how to do partial sums addition, maybe in a little bit of a slow way because in the beginning you should go slowly but now we're going to do it in a fast way now that we're comfortable with the method okay so now we'll be able to do it a little bit more quickly so for partial sums we add together each place value um, and then add them together uh, when we have the partial sum so first we do the um, tens place and then the ones place for this example and with the slow method of this, we write out each step to show our thinking. So first we have 40 plus 20. And then the answer to that. Then we write out the ones place, which is 3 plus 2. And we're sure to make sure our answer is lined up in the proper place. And then we add those together for the final answer, which is 65. Okay, and when you're starting, I recommend that you do this to help you show your thinking, to make sure you don't get mixed up. But after you feel comfortable with this and you can do this step in your head, you can do the fast method of counting up subtraction. So let's look at what that would be. So here we have 65 plus 37. And again, partial products or partial sums addition. I'm going to do the tens place first. So 60 plus 30. I don't need to write it. I can do that in my head. So I'm just going to write the answer first. And I know that's 90. Then I'm going to look at 5 plus 12. Again, I can do that in my head. I don't need to write it out here. I'm sorry, 5 plus 7. The answer is 12. So I put the 12 here. Then I can add those two together. And there is my answer. So now we have three digits, and again, this doesn't change too much. We're just adding one step. So 200 plus 700 would be first, which is going to give me 900. Then I do the tens. 60 plus 60 is going to give me 120. And finally, I have 7 plus 5 again. That's going to be 12. Make sure it's lined up. Then I add those three together, and you can see how quickly you can do the addition with partial sums addition. So we're basically cutting out this step here. You don't have to write that to the side anymore. You can do it in your head. And now you can do these addition problems really quickly. So try to do this partial sums addition uh, for our students with your homework tonight. If you're just a person watching this, you can do any addition problem. You can use partial sums, uh, just another way for you to do your addition. So uh, good luck.